I've been chairing this association, Upper Shelton Resident Association, for about 15 years now. So gradually, information keeps filtering through, you know, and uh, it sounded good. But then they hadn't started anything. They hadn't started boarding the houses up and, and moving people out then. It was just talk, you know. But since then, time's gone on. You know, it's dim, it's dark, all these boarding up houses. It used to be years ago, God, there used to be a good community sense in Shelton. It's not there now. You, you haven't got it now. Bottom end of Shelton used to be lovely, but then you hadn't got the student population in, obviously, 30 odd years ago. You know, it wasn't how it is now. And then, obviously, uh, families moved out, landlords bought them, banged students in because they could make more money students they're not there are they it's just somewhere for them to thingy so they aren't really bothered about how the property goes down the landlords are not there to keep an eye on the property so it just brings the area down in the north shelton area we appointed him upright who are a local based firm and be arts who to work at this who specialize in community engagement we've done the baselining we've done some of the stakeholder consultations and we know we're about to complete the option stage so we've done four weeks of community engagement already i think that they look at the area and there's loads of old terrace properties in the area you know and some of them did want knocking down always you know um, be truthful but some they got character, and, and what they're getting put back, there's no character to them. They just, to me, anything like lock 38, the boxes, you know. I'd like to see so many detached houses being family houses, bring people in the area, you know, not, not to just bring single people in who are going to live in these boxes. I want somewhere where families can go and have a garden, you know. Fundamentally, the, the focus of this area will be family housing. It's about repopulating areas, but obviously there will be other, other elements that may include some apartment living, perhaps a, a local re retail centre. They're still, they're still, still optioneering, but you're very, it's very much about creating a family neighbourhood. I'd like Renew, bring to Shelton more things for older people. Yeah, I know there's families, that's fair enough, but there's also old people, there's also disabled people. We need more things for them, bungalows, be whatever. And at the moment on the master plan, there's not one place in the area where they're building anything like that. I come in that house, I brought the shop in the rectory road. So when I had the shop, and that's how it's come up for sale, so I brought that house. I like to see happen the houses you know, they build the houses that are like the people needs. And the houses, what in the, in the present moment, all the houses should have the parking space. That's what I see, you know, I like to see. And if I, my son, want to buy a house, he want to buy three, three bedroom house, and also he want extra room for a, you know, grandparent or parent. It's just, we've had everything dumped on us, you know, we've had asylum seekers, we've had everything. Shelton has just basically become somewhere where they think, oh God, send them down, Shelton, you know, it's all right down there. And we've had everything dumped on us. It is just a dumping ground.